Hello and welcome to my channel. My name's Lyndon and it's an absolute privilege and an honour to have you here. Uh, I want to share my favourite apps that I use on my iPad or the apps that I use for practising my saxophone with. The, these apps these days are absolutely phenomenal. When I first started playing saxophone, I didn't even have a computer. It was that long ago because most people didn't, let alone uh, any kind of backing tracks. And I remember thinking, it was, I remember practicing my scales, thinking it would be so amazing to have some sort of accompaniment, like a guitar player or a piano player, and just do it in context, because playing scales and practicing chord tones by yourself, just with the sax on its own, it's really good, but it's not as fun as it is doing it with either another musician or a backing track. And, um, it just wasn't a thing. And then I came across these series of books and, and cassettes, that's how old it is, by a guy in America called Jamie Abersold. He's still around and you should definitely check him out. And he seemed to be the first person to come out with a book that had tunes or exercises in it and with a, an accompanying CD or, or cassette uh, that had backing tracks on it. And this was like, gold i couldn't believe it i used to live in a flat in north london and i would jump on the tube and take the 40 minute journey up to tottenham court road in the center of london and I'd then i'd go for a 10 minute walk to the music shop and buy one of these jamie Obersold cds and because they were or cassettes uh, and because they were american imports they're really quite expensive they're like 20 pounds and this is going back like 25 years ago or something so that was a huge amount of money they're really really expensive and I would get them home and the one that I really stuck in my mind because it changed my approach to everything practicing and it, it gave me ability was Jamie Ebersold's Blues in All 12 Keys and I very close to my heart because I have spent hours and hours and hours playing along to, to this Blues in All Keys and I taught myself how to play a 12 bar blues in all 12 keys and all of the 12 blues scales so that I could jam along and that CD changed everything. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. A few years later I started busking and I was just busking with the sax on its own and I thought to myself how amazing would this be if I had some backing tracks or some other musicians. So nowadays of course you've got apps everywhere uh, and all over the uh, internet and all over the uh, tablets and phones and stuff and it's just a completely different ball game so in this video I want to share my favorite now full disclaimer I'm not being paid by any of the companies to recommend these apps whatsoever I'm not getting anything from the companies so this is a completely biased uh, review or recommendations just biased on the ones that I like and I've set my camera up here so that I can film uh, myself uh, uh, selecting these apps and showing you the apps that I've got on my iPad. So I'm going to move over to there now and, uh, and see what we've got. So I, I think my, my, uh, the ones that I use the most are definitely the Session Bands group of apps. Now Session Band have made tons and tons of apps there's so many of them. It's it's absolutely phenomenal. They've 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 just got loads and loads and loads of them, um, and the the ones that I really use are Jazz One, Two, and Three, uh, the and the Soul Jazz Funk ones. They, I think they've got three of those as well, uh, and there there are more. They're absolutely fantastic. Look, all of these are filled filled with session band apps as well. These are the ones that I don't use so much, but they're still fantastic, and they all work in pretty much the same way. What it allows me to do is that if I go into say Session Band Jazz 2 uh, and I go up here there is a load of different genres that I can select. So if I just select the, the first one Slow Latin and then I go Create New and then uh, say yes and by default it will come up with a, a, a chord now I can change this from E flat to B flat to concert pitch and it will adjust it as necessary. So let's just for argument's sake keep it with the E flat and then if I play that and as you can hear 
it's got a drums, bass, piano and flugelhorn. Now I can mute off that flugelhorn and now I can practice my A major scale. It's absolutely fabulous. I love it. So, da, di, da. so I can practice my major scale. I could practice jamming in with this as well. I could practice improvising in the key of A. I could practice my chord tones. I mean, there's just unlimited things that you could do with just this one thing alone. Um, but it doesn't end there because I can now take this and there's lots of things that I can do. So down the left hand side I've got all of these other genres. Again, one of my favourites is Cool Swing. And now if I apply the style and do that again. Now I can still practice my A major scale, my A major chord. It just sounds beautiful, it just sounds so, so nice to play this with a beautiful backing track. And the thing with session band is, these are real instruments. Uh, I don't pretend to know exactly how they've done this, but I suspect that what they've done is that they've put real musicians, well I kind of know that they've, from, just from listening, that that's real musicians playing and they've recorded it and looped them just holding an A major. So it's absolutely fantastic. Then what I can do is that I can change the pitch of this up and down. So I can change that now to B flat major and then to B major and so on and so forth. So I can change the pitch. Uh, which is, which again is just mind-bogglingly useful, uh, and I can change. So I can change the pitch. I can change the feel down the left-hand side, and then I can also change the tempo by sliding this up and down, which is uh, again amazing. Just so so cool. Um, but but it doesn't end there. If I touch this button down here, I can actually change the quality of the chord. So at the moment it's on a major seven, but I could change it to diminished. You've got a minor major there, which is some sort of harmonic minor. A minor seven flat five, which is like a Locrian scale. A minor seven nine. Uh, so let's have a look at a minor seven. So this would be a Dorian would fit with this. And then I play that again. Wow. Now I can practice on my minor scales and I can do the same thing. I can take that pitch up and down here and I can do it for my uh, tenor saxophone as well. All I need to do is just to take, change this. Oh my gosh, what a fantastic resource that is. It's absolutely amazing and it doesn't even end there. If I go up to here, uh, it's got uh, Andy Panay on saxophone. So what that means is that at the moment I've muted off the lead instrument. Uh, that's a trumpet. So I'll tell you what, let's find one. If I go back here and I change it to jazz funk and apply the style, uh, and it doesn't really matter for the purposes of demonstration. Now what I can do is that if I go here uh, and unmute the tenor, have a listen to this. Now what that is, is one of the country's top saxophone players whose name is uh, Andy Panayi, and they've got a photograph of him here, and that is Andy Panayi playing. Now this is like saying, imagine if you phoned up Andy Panayi and said, hey, I'd love to get some lessons with you. Uh, I'd like to learn some licks. You know, he would charge you like, I, I don't know what Andy Panayi charges or even if he does private lessons, but if I was Andy Panayi, I'd charge you 150 pounds an hour for that sort of thing. And yet you've got it here and I can take that tenor and I can, put it on solo so that it just has the tenor. Wow. And what I can do, if that lick is too fast for me to get, I can slow it right down and it will distort it slightly, but I'll be able to get the notes. So look, check this out. Oh my gosh. So that's a lick and that alone would be weeks of work if I wanted to take that lick and learn it in all 12 keys or definitely hours of work. Um, how fantastic is that? And here's the thing that I could get Andy to, to play. If I move it up to say A minor, he'll play me another lick. Andy, can I have another lick please? Yeah, here you go, Lyndon. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So if I, if I put the tempo back up to what it should be, and then it, if I... Uh, and the, on the session bands, they've got Dave O'Higgins, who is one of my all-time favourite players. I think he's absolutely, absolutely amazing. Yeah, look, there he is. Dave, we love you, Dave. Uh, and if I unmute Dave, this is now on session band jazz volume three. Wow. Wow, what a beautiful lick. So what I can do is that I can go to the, the tenor and if I press S for solo uh, and then do the same thing again. Wow. So I can spend my time learning licks. It gives me free licks. How cool is that? Um, it also, I mean, the session band apps, again, you'd think I was being paid, but I'm seriously not. It's just that they're so, it's, they're so useful. Uh, and what you can do is that you can save, um, you can save files. So these are files that I've created. Uh, so if you have a look at some of my videos, I've got an all 12, I've, got, I've called it the acid test, and I've got all 12 major scales, and these are ones that I've made, so I'll show you quickly how I would make that. Um, if I went to uh, ballad, and then create new, go yes, and then uh, I'd put it into C so that it doesn't try and transpose all the time, and then I just touch here, and I go up to C sharp, and then touch here and go up to, to D and so on and so forth. And then once I've done that with all of the scales, just go into here and go save. And I type, type in uh, YouTube and, then, uh, and that's called a, a, a demo and go save. And now if I go to here uh, and if I go down to, it will be under D for demo by YouTube. There's my track and I touch that and go yes. And there it is. There's the track that I've just made. And that's, that's Dave O'Higgins. Dave O'Higgins playing licks through major scales. And I can learn those licks, so it's absolutely fantastic. So that's the session band. They all pretty much function in the same way. In fact, they all do function in the same way. They're absolutely fantastic, and I strongly, strongly recommend them. Uh, another one that I use on a daily basis is this app here, which is called uh, Amazing Slow Downer. And this is absolutely terrific as well. Uh, what it's got is uh, it, you can import any one of your backing tracks into here and it will slow it down for you. So if I have a look for one of my own backing tracks, this is called, uh, this is my own backing track, so you can't do me on copyright. Um, and I'm going to scroll halfway through. Now that is a backing track that I actually have made my real musicians for take five and use this for performance. Really, really good. Now if that's too fast for me, I just slow it down and it doesn't distort it very much. Wow, it doesn't distort. That is so incredibly useful because especially when I'm teaching somebody or if I'm learning myself, I can just, if I find a backing track that I'm playing to, I can just slow it down. Oh my gosh, well, you could never do that in the past before. It would be one tempo or if you did try to slow anything down, it would be horribly distorted. So this app, uh, Amazing Slow Downer, is really, really cool. And uh, the other thing that you can do with this is to loop a section as well. So if you've got, you can, if you uh, touch here, you can start your track anywhere. So this is going to start at 1 minute 03. And then if I you end it at 1 minute say one minute 15 so hopefully you'll be able to see and now if I go back it just loops that section let's make that loop shorter so go to 111 now look it will go back and you can actually line that up 
so that it doesn't skip or jump and you can just practice the section. So amazing slow downer. I recommend that all the time. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, the other app which I would use on a daily basis is iReal Pro and this is just a fantastic app. So, so cool. Uh, you download it and then you get um, for, for free you get a Jazz 1300. So, so what you do is once you've downloaded it, you go to the forums at the, at the top there and it will, say, uh, it will say something like quickly download. Let's try that again. Um, why? If you go to the home, right? Yeah, quickly download main playlists. You touch the main playlists and it's got, look, 1,410 jazz tunes, and then some Brazilian, Latin, blues, pop and country. Absolutely amazing, right? So I've downloaded these already. Uh, and then if you go back to, um, you can make, as you can see, I've got some set, uh, playlists here um, but but if you go to the you can search for a tune so if you go to songs and then I type in pretty much any jazz standard like blue bossa uh, and we pull that up and now that gives me all of the chords for blue bossa and it gives me a backing track now what I don't like so much about iReal Pro and you guys at iReal Pro, honestly, thank you so much for your beautiful app because it's amazing. But what I don't like quite so much is the sound that it gives out because this sound for me, it's not good enough to play at a gig. It's, it's good, right? But it, it just sounds computer generated. But really, really, really fantastic. And, and here's a, a very cool thing. If I don't know what a B flat seven is, if I touch that, it will come up with the scale and the chord, which is amazing. And if I touch this, it will give me all of the potential scales and chords that I could play over that. that. So, and going from the most obvious to the more exotic. So it's, for example, this is, uh, B flat seven, so it's telling me to play over a mixolydian, and then the other options: bebop dominant, lydian dominant, and so on and so forth. You've got a diminished scale there and a whole tone scale, altered scales. Uh, this is like a mode of a, a harmonic minor, and then you've got your pentatonic and a blue scale. So these, it's not definitive, but you know that gives you loads and loads of options to play. You can also loop sections. Uh, of this and absolutely fantastic so that you can practice over two five ones really 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 good there's loads of practice uh, I, I've personally got some practice playlists as well so practice tracks uh, you've got two five ones so there's all my two five ones and this is all available on their forum I mean it's just it's just mind-bogglingly useful so iReal Pro uh, is absolutely great and this is available on desktop computer as well on pretty much any kind of system and you can print these charts out and just amazing absolutely fantastic um, another one that I would uh, I absolutely fell head over heels in love with is an app called Quartet uh, now this again this is by the same people that make session band uh, this app is just phenomenal like if I'd have had if you'd have even told me that this exists years and years and years ago I wouldn't have believed you but I, I can't remember how much the app is it's really not very much it's like 10 15 pounds or something and you get 150 backing tracks and they're by the best musicians in the UK they're made by and these are real so these are real instruments so the, this is not computer uh, generated at all and you can uh, you can search and if I search something like autumn uh, leaves and they've got one uh, here in the style of Miles Davis now, I don't know why it does that. It's a bit jumpy sometimes, but it's worth it because it's fantastic. Listen to the quality, absolutely amazing. This is real instrument. So this is like having, having the best musicians in the country in your living room and saying, right, Linton, would you like to practice the autumn leaves? Oh my God, absolutely fantastic. The quality of that is just, is just great. I've slowed the tempo down. 
And uh, you could gig with that, and I have, actually, I have used this for gigs, and so is my son who's a pianist. What you can do is you go up to the settings wheel here, and you can select different options. So when my son used this, he actually took out the piano, so he just had bass and drums. And you've also got a saxophone player in there as well, so if I selected that, you can transpose for your alto or tenor saxophone, or you don't have to if you don't want to, you can put in uh, uh, click lead-ins, uh, count-ins, really, really amazing, and you can also loop bars. Let's have a listen to the, the sax. And I think, I'm pretty sure that that is my man, um, Dave O'Higgins. Uh, and let's have a quick look. Yeah, Dave O'Higgins on tenor saxophone. And Sebastian de Crom, oh my God, Graham Harvey and Jeff, Jeff Gascoigne. These guys are the best in the country. Seriously, top, top, top level players. I, I don't know, you, you know, they, they are just the best. They seriously are. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a fanboy which I am, but they seriously are the, the top level of players. And you can loop bars. Uh, you have to touch this and touch that, and there you go, touch the one that you want to end on, and now I can loop that as well. So that is absolutely fantastic. Really, really, really good. Uh, so these are the apps, and there's Quartet 1 and there's Quartet 2 as well. So these are the ones that I use by far the most. Jazz 300, I did use it a bit. They, it's kind of like Quartet. Uh, it has a, a lot of tunes in there, but the quality of Quartet, in my humble opinion, is better than Jazz 300, and that's why I don't use it quite so much. But it's still worth a look. Uh, and those are the apps that I use. So yeah, definitely Session Band apps, Amazing Slow Downer, Quartet, and iReal Pro. Now, other notable mentions would definitely be TomPlay. I don't use it so much myself, and there's a reason for that. The reason is that TomPlay often uh, change the key to make it a, a, of a tune to make it a bit more straightforward to, for people to get access to and I think that is a good idea but it's just not for me because I like playing things in the original key that things were recorded in and also their backing tracks don't sound I'm not so so personally keen on the arrangements of their backing tracks and also uh, because I tend to learn melodies by ear I only use the manuscript for reference and so I don't really need all of that sheet music and I've got millions of real books anyway so that's the only reasons that I don't use Tom Play but lots of my clients do and they love it and I think it's fantastic so good on you Tom Play. So that is my uh, recommendations for apps. Um, I, I, all of these apps have just completely revolutionized the way that personally I practice saxophone and also the way that I teach. It just really brings it to life. And thank you to the people that have made these apps, particularly Session Band and iReal Pro. I just think they're, they're absolutely amazing and amazing slow downer. I think they're really terrific. Uh, I hope that's been useful to you. And uh, uh, if you'd like to support these videos with Buy Me A Coffee, that is always uh, extremely appreciated by myself and my family. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Bye.